welcome back to my vegan kitchen. I've got a great recipe for you today. This one's perfect for the holidays. Another show stopper. So we've got some acorn squash that we got on the cheap. So we're gonna make this look like a million bucks. We're going to fill it with a beautiful savory poultry-ish stuffing. So I've already prepared three of these. I just cut them in half. Well, first I washed them. <laughs> Then I cut them in half and scooped out the gross part. So I wish it fit in all one pan, but it didn't because some squash are bigger than others. So we've got six halves. So it should be ideally like one per person. We're going to begin the stuffing. I mean, that's all you have to do for the shell. The stuffing is going to be a mirepoix plus one. That means I like what you're doing here, you three. But we're going to need a little help from shiitake. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so let's get the pan heated up. We're going to do a splash of avocado oil, but if you don't have avocado oil, any kind of oil, pre preferably like an olive oil, if you don't have avocado. So we're doing like a tablespoon. As soon as the pan gets hot, we're going to put in our celery, onion, and I, I, um, took the shortcut, <laughs> it's semi home chopped, um, shredded carrots. Don't worry about the um, amounts, everything is going to be in the description box. Some amounts are going to be exact, some don't worry about. It's not a big deal, just as long as you have this combination. Almost about the same amount of celery, onions, and carrots, so don't worry about it. So this is also a general stuffing. You can uh, use this on a lot of different things. You could do stuffed peppers. You could do stuffed peppers. You could do <laughs> some sort of a stuffed squash. It doesn't have to be acorn. It could totally be um, butternut. Or it could be that other one that looks like a green pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure of the name. So we're getting our mirepoix going. As soon as that starts to get a little bit soft, a little bit soft, we'll put in some. <laughs> as soon as that starts to get soft, we're gonna put in some sliced mushrooms. If you, again, don't get hung up on the type of mushroom. If you've only got the white, use the white. If you've only got oyster, use oyster. It's not a big deal. So this is looking really good right now. It's starting to get soft. So we're gonna add in the stock. I have some water <laughs> and stop and you know concentrate so I'm just gonna do about two cups worth of stock this one takes a little bit more because it's not as concentrated as like the better than bouillon so when we add that in we're also gonna add in two uh, chopped up tofurkey sausage totally optional if you don't like um, seitan or whatever, you don't have to put sausage in, it just it tastes better. So we're going to bring that up to a boil. We're also going to add in about a tablespoon of sage, not sage, poultry seasoning. There's sage in poultry seasoning. So that's exactly a tablespoon. And while we're at it, why don't we also add in some cranberries, some dried cranberry. This is really nice in this recipe because when you have uh, squash, it's kind of bland. I mean, if you just eat it on its own, it tastes like a wet noodle, you know, like a sponge. So you want to put something a little sweet in there too. And a sweet is a nice contrast, especially around the holidays with the uh, salty. So that's about a quarter of a cup. It doesn't matter. If you like it a lot, put a lot. If you don't like it that much, leave it out. This uh, makes a lot of stuffing, so if you have any left over, you can also just eat it on its own. All right, so when you bring it back up to the boil, you put in your final ingredient, and I just have some uh, white Italian bread slices that I buttered with some vegan butter, toasted, chopped up into cubes. We're just going to add those to the pot, and we're going to stir and keep stirring until all of the liquid is absorbed. This is going to be the glue that holds the stuffing together so that it's not falling all over the place because in the bread is the gluten 
and that is what's gonna make it like cement. So <laughs> we're just gonna, isn't that appetizing mm. cement? So we're just going to let that all absorb. As soon as it's done absorbing, we're gonna turn off the heat, let it cool off just a little bit, and then we're gonna stuff our squash. All right, we're just gonna fill these up. <coughs> oh, looks so good. Now, once we get these all stuffed, we're going to uh, put some foil over the top because if we don't, it's gonna dry out and we really want it to steam in there. So let's just get these done. I got my oven preheating at, I don't know what temperature, but you should probably put yours at 375 to 400 because <laughs> my oven's broken. So I have mine jacked up to like 500, but it's totally not 500 in there. So I'm not exactly sure what temperature it is, but we'll make it work. We're gonna roast it for about um, an hour, and then we should be ready to eat. It's really simple, fancy looking recipe for the holidays. All right, this is a bonus. We have just enough stuffing to stuff this pepper. So we'll see how this turns out. I wasn't even planning on this. So we'll just pop this in with this one. You're neighbors now. <laughs> and we're gonna pop that all in the oven for about an hour. All right, these have come out of the oven. It was actually 400 degrees, or it should be. <laughs> they so were it's in, supposed to be 400. Yeah, they were in for just about a little over an hour. And you should keep them in until your squash is tender. This looks so beautiful. Right? This, the uh, pepper turned out pretty well too, it looks like. I love so. when my food is in like a food bowl. <laughs> a bowl made out of food and you eat yeah. it yeah that looks really hot so yeah <laughs> mm. wow uh, yeah mm -hmm. showstopper and the squash is so creamy and tender yes all right guys Very nice I think it's a great winter recipe. If you don't make it for the holidays, it's nice mm. to uh, cheer you up for a blah winter day. <laughs> and it's nice to have the oven on. Gotta love those shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, so meaty. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you try it. Subscribe for more. Hit the notifications bell so you know when we upload a new video. We're going to be doing Veganuary. One video every day for the entire month of January. All about being vegan, vegan recipes, fun stuff. <laughs> so until next time, much love.